during sensible cooling cooling is rightward or cooling is leftward leftward is a five will different or five will remain same will change so first is wrong is a w is increases or w is constant w is constant is a wet bulb temperature increases wet bulb temperature is from this point will go up then down wet bulb temperature 1 then we'll go like this and then come here. So, wet bulb temperature increases or decreases. Then is the partial pressure vapor remain constant? Yes, because W is constant. So, we have W equals to what? 0.622 PV upon E mix. Now, dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures will be equal when RH is 100%. If you are on this line of 100%, then for this point here, is the dry bulb is same as wet bulb, is same as dew point. Air stream at a specified temperature and RH undergoes evaporative cooling. Evaporative cooling is desert cooler. By spraying water into it at the same temperature, the lowest temperature in the air stream can be cooled to ease. So, first of all, the process will be like this. Is this process is represented by this line? And if you continue this process, can you attain this point? Is this point is same as the wet bulb temperature? For this process is 1 and 2 on this line. So he says that the lowest temperature, the air which can be cooled to ease. The dry given state or wet bulb temperature the given state or dew point temperature. So, is it wet bulb? This temperature is wet bulb. Dew, uh, dew point is this. Option B is correct. During adiabatic cooling. Is it adiabatic cooling like this? This one is adiabatic cooling. This one is 1 and dry bulb remains same or will change? RH uh, remain constant or will change? Change. Is the uh, specificity remain constant or change? But is the wet bulb will remain constant? Because both the point will come on the same line. So, wet bulb will remain constant. The barometer records 750. Barometer is the device which measures atmospheric pressure. So, we have P atmospheric equals to 750 mm of Hg is same as 1 bar and 760 is 1.01325. We have air at 33 degrees Celsius drivable. In air conditioning, always practice degree Celsius. Corresponding saturation pressure is this value is PSD. The dew point is 13 degrees Celsius. And the corresponding pressure is PV is 01491 bar. You want to calculate RH that is phi. You want to calculate W. Formula for phi is simply PV and PSD multiplied by 100. So 0 0.0149 divided by 0 0.0 5029 29.4 percent. Second you want to calculate humidity ratio W. Constant is 0 0.622 as PV upon P atmospheric minus PV. Put this value from this. Is it kg of water vapor per kg of dry air? And suppose they ask you in gram. So, you multiply this quantity by 1000. So, is it 9.4 grams per kg of dry air? Moist air at a pressure of what? 100 kilopascal. 100 kilopascal is 1 bar. Is compressed to 5 bar and then cool to 35 in an after cooler. So, we have two process. One is compressor and one is after cooler. Moist air at pressure of 100 kilopascal. So, whatever the pressure here is P1 that equal to 1 bar and is compressed to what? Is compressed to 5 bar. So, this pressure is 5 bar and then cool to 35 in after cooler. So, we have here pressure will change in after cooler or will remain same will remain same that is 5 bar. But if the temperature has been decreased, so temperature at this one is 35. The air at the entry to the to the after cooler is unsaturated and becomes just saturated at the exit of after cooler. This one is unsaturated, this one is unsaturated. The saturation pressure of water at 35 is 5.628 kilopascal. So what is PV at 35? Is it equals to 5.628? Kilopascal. The partial pressure of water vapor in the moist air entering the compressor. Entering the compressor is this. We want to find out this partial. Now, not added any water quantity is the mass of water here at stage 3. Is it the same as the mass of water at stage 1? And there is no change in the mass of air from this component to this component. So, does it mean that W1 must equals to W2? What is W1 and W2? W1 is basically 0 0.622 is the partial pressure at inlet. So, I will write divided by mixture pressure. So, mixture pressure here is what? P1. At inlet, what is the total pressure? Is P1. So, this one is P1 minus of PV1. Now, I have to write actually this value equals to what? 3 value. Three. Now, at this point, I have a same equation 0 0.622. This time, the total pressure is what? 5 bar. So, I have to write down this one is P3 
minus PV3. So 0.622 is cancelled out. We want the value of PV1. P1 you have to put as 1 in bar. We don't know the value of PV1. On the right hand side, the partial pressure is given as 5.628 to substitute 0 0.0568 here. So this one is 0 0.056. And what is the total pressure at the exit is 5 bar. So 5 minus 0 0.056. Solve this equation, we will get the partial pressure at inlet. Your answer is 1.125 kilopascal. Initially you are getting 0 0.0125. You have to write